I read a lot about terrible things that people have done to each other. You just cannot even imagine it. It's so awful. So you don't want to be someone like that. Now, do you have a reason to be? Yes, you have lots of reasons to be. God, there's reasons to be resentful about your existence. Everyone you know is going to die. You too. And there's going to be a fair bit of pain along the way. And lots of it's going to be unfair. It's like, yeah. No wonder you're resentful. It's like, act it out. See what happens. You make everything you're complaining about infinitely worse. There's this idea that hell is a bottomless pit. And that's because no matter how bad it is, some stupid son of a bitch like you could figure out a way to make it a lot worse. That's what life is like. It's suffering. That's what the religious people have always said. Life is suffering. Yes. Yes. What do you do in the face of that suffering? Try to reduce it. Start with yourself. What good are you? Get yourself together for Christ's sake so that when your father dies, you're not whining away in the corner and you can help plan the funeral and you can stand up solidly so that people can rely on you. That's better. Don't be a damn victim. Of course you're a victim. Jesus, obviously, put yourself together. You know how to do that. You know what's wrong with you, if you'll admit it. You know there's a few things you could, like, polish up a little bit, but you might even be able to manage it in your insufficient present condition. So you might shine yourself up a little bit and then your eyes will be a little more open. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.